is a familiar spot for me. We spent the last two days here uh, with the, the children and parents and teachers, and we had a wonderful time. Um, our theme was growing in obedience. Uh, we had 46 children attending OBDS, and we had 12 teachers from both our church and St. Mary's church. And in addition to the usual lessons, arts, um, arts and crafts, and songs, I'd like to share a few highlights with you very quickly. This year we had a guest speaker. On Friday we were fortunate to have Mrs. Christina Verghese, um, who was very effective in communicating with the children about the importance of obedience to God. We also had more local speakers. We had Ajin, who uh, blessed us with uh, some reflections on obedience. We had Mr. Kirk Edwards, who helped us all understand the importance of obedience to parents. And at the end of the day, the second day, Saturday, we uh, had all the children from our three-year-olds to our 13-year-olds participating in short skits of their own making. So we divided the children into five groups and gave them a set of words, and they had 25 minutes to come up with a skit. And they did it fabulously. They were really, really good. And we selected one of the skits, which we will show you this today. Um, the children enjoyed these activities, and today we'll, uh, we'll let you Thank you. 
come and share. The Respected luncheon, parents, teachers, and friends. Today I'd like to talk about my experiences that I've had at this year's OBS being a teacher. Before I do that, I'd like to ask the children a little question. Did you guys enjoy OBS? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Enjoy. Enjoy. What was your favorite part? get a lot closer to all these kids and for me personally OBS was a lot of fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun not only teaching but playing various games with the kids. I previously used to be a student. It was my first year teaching and I suggest that a lot of other people should start teaching because it's a lot of fun. The theme of this year's was uh, obedience. What is obedience? To me obedience is the act and the dutiful or submissive behavior with respect to another person. In order to teach the kids about obedience, we incorporated some stories from the Bible, such as the story of Abraham, Noah, Adam, and Eve. And also we played some games, such as like Simon says, to get the kids more active. I hope that the children not only had a lot of fun, but that they have grown spiritually as children of God. At this moment, I would like to thank all of the teachers and volunteers who helped out on OBBS, especially people such as Shivanti, Anish, Vijay Uncle, uh, Mun Uncle, Kirk Uncle, and many others. And I hope that the future OBBS is just as great and successful as this year's. Thank you. Thank you, Ruben. Um, I'd like to invite Soli to come up. Soli did a special reflection. Aside from being a teacher, she also worked with uh, the young. Good morning, everyone. Well, when I first got this topic, um, it's an obedience. And I have to say, as a parent, I said, yes. <laughs> because obedience is not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing for children. It's not even an easy thing for us adults. So. Teaching them obedience, I have to say, not only was I teaching, but I also got to learn. Um, um, we're never too old to learn. And um, one of the stories which I learned something new was with Abraham and Isaac. And that's a common story. Everybody knows it. The little kids know it. Everybody knows it. And now we know of Abraham as the one who was obedient to God. But my first time at looking at Isaac as being obedient, where when he found out that he was going to be sacrificed, he didn't run away, he didn't argue, he didn't wail, he actually accepted it. Because not only for the, the obedience of his father, but for the honor of his father and God. So that was something new for me, and um, I really liked that point that was brought up in our OBBS um, literature. So, I don't know who put that together, but um, we need to give them a special thanks. Um, through the day, I actually use the word obedience a lot to the kids, especially when the kids are at the playground. To try to get them back in is always a hard thing to do. And so I try saying, okay kids, let's be obedient and let's go in to our next class. We're eating for lunch. Now I expected they were going to be all like, ah, and I'd have to repeat myself two, three times, but I didn't have to. All the kids came up except one child. And I was so amazed that they actually not only learned and listened, but they understood what obedience was. And so that one child that was still swinging in the sleep, one of the other little kids went up to him and said, you got to be obedient. Let's go. So he took that little one in. And so I use that word quite a bit through the day, especially when the kids didn't want to listen. And one of my children said, I don't like this topic. <laughs> and again, I thought it was very funny. It was very fun. The reflections was fun. We used um, Karate Kid to, as part of the um, learning, uh, showing the Karate Kid. Um, teaching them about obedience, kind of not understanding what you're going to be put through, 
but still having to obey, to listen and do. So we had a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun, and thank you, Sheba, for coordinating this. Thank you for all the other volunteers, Madhu, for um, the food, the organization, and um, I too can't wait for next year. Thank you. So next we have a couple of songs that we learned. Uh, I'd like to invite all the kids to come up. All the children, please come up. And the boys to the right and the girls to the left, please.
Give me the bunny. <laughs> or we'll beat you up because we know. I brought my own franchise. Or to lead you the droid. Neville Pelliker, where's Neville? And also Alina Kunimon, is Alina here? Leanne Nainan, Josh Varghese, Denisha Varghese, Nathan Varghese, Serena <laughs> Varghese, Joshua Ruggies, Jaden Ruggies, Daniel Matthews, Matthews, Noah Matthews, Shania Sony, Joshua Sony. Noelle Filipos, Sitara Filipos, Vijay <laughs> Edward, Vijay George. Kavita, George, Asha George, Shamla George, Mohan George, Samuel Gingerdis, Ruben Reddis. Yesterday that uh, uh, Kirk, she, he was taking the class for uh, obedience. Then uh, he's he's asking, why want to obey, obey our children, our parents? Then one of the children they like, was saying that uh, because I need a hammer. <laughs> if I don't obey my parents, they are not going to buy hammer. Then another, uh, the next to me, other ch child he was telling me. I want to take advantage. If I want to obey, I would take advantage of my father. So that's why. But that's, you know, that's a really very, very interesting one. Uh, those who are uh, here, that they enjoy very much. May God bless you all. Thank you, Shiva, and all of our teachers, and those who support this. Love.